Dwight Morrow High School. Dwight Morrow High School is a four-year comprehensive public high school located in Inglewood in Bergen County, New Jersey, the United States, operating as part of the Inglewood Public School District. The school also serves students from Inglewood Cliffs who attend as part of a sending slash receiving relationship. Dwight Morrow High School shares its campus with the academies at Inglewood. As of the 2021-22 school year, the school had an enrollment of 10 or 3 students and 77.1 classroom teachers on an FTE basis for a student-teacher ratio of 13.01. There were 423 students, 42.2% of enrollment eligible for free lunch and 94.9.4% of students eligible for reduced cost lunch. The Academies at Inglewood is a four-year magnet high school sharing the campus that serves students in the 9th through 12th grades from across Bergen County. The program was started by Dr. John Greco, founder of the Bergen County Academy serving students in the 9th to 12th grades in Bergen County. The school was initially created in an effort to diversify the Dwight Morrow High School campus by attracting elite students outside the Inglewood community to an academically challenging, high-performing school and the program was modelled after his Bergen County Academies. The school was additionally created to raise the standard of public education in Bergen County and is now part of the Inglewood Public Schools District, formerly part of the Bergen County Technical Schools District. Dr. John Greico also served as the district superintendent during the school's inaugural years. Established in 2002, the academies at Inglewood include five professional and academic divisions. History Located on a 37-acre park-like campus and constructed at a cost of $750,000 from a design by architect Lord Celsius. Date, the school was opened to students in January 1933 with a capacity of 1,200 students helping to ease overcrowding at the existing high school and junior high facilities. The school is named after Dwight Morrow, a businessman, politician and diplomat who lived in the city. Moore was also the father-in-law of aviator Charles Lindbergh. The school shares its campus with the academies at Inglewood and Chinese East. This means Middle School. Dwight Morrow and the academies at Inglewood are located east of Miller's Pond and share the same administration. Chinese East. This means Middle School, formerly Inglewood Middle School, is located south of Miller's Pond and operates independently. The school had been accredited by the Middle States Association of Colleges and Schools from 1928 until 2012, when the school's accreditation status was removed. Demographic Issues During the 1980s, changes in local demographics drastically altered the school's ethnic body resulting in an African-American majority. The nearby district of Inglewood Cliffs attempted to end a sending-receiving relationship with Inglewood due to the poor performance of the school. This led to a bitter court battle between Inglewood and Inglewood Cliffs beginning in 1985, a move characterized by Inglewood as racist. By 1992, the school was 97% African American and Hispanic. There were more violent incidents reported at DMHS Dwight Morrow High School than any other school in Bergen County in the 1991-92 school year, and test scores remained painfully low. Court battles continued in an attempt to desegregate the high school. According to Assemblyman John East, Rooney, white students from Inglewood Cliffs, the district trying to end its obligation to send its students to Dwight Morrow, feared for their safety at the heavily minority institution. Most Inglewood Cliffs parents have chosen private school over Dwight Morrow High School. In fall 2002, a new magnet program was opened up in an attempt to attract non-African American students back to the school. The opening of the new academy led to more discrimination from the viewpoint of Inglewood's African-American community. The academy was given a portion of the campus to operate on, and the regular high school, Dwight Morrow, continued to operate on the remainder of the campus. The academy has a diverse population and is kept separate from Dwight Morrow while occupying the same campus. This has created two distinct schools on one campus. Dwight Morrow has recently had protests overcrowded classrooms and an inferior education. The books are old and the classes are overcrowded, said a junior. In my history class at least five students have to stand up each day. The academy has highly qualified teachers as well as better resources. Academies at Inglewood, 
longer school day, rigorous and engaging core academic curriculum, technology, upgraded classroom materials and equipment not available to divide more students' climate reflecting high expectations. Inviting classrooms, students are spirited and proud of their school and opportunities. Many residents of Inglewood feel that the city of Inglewood has worked against the progress of the high school by opening up the academies. About 50% of the students are from Inglewood. Inglewood's African-American community feels the city and the Board of Education has put its minority residents second with this move. For the past three years, they've been feeling like second-class citizens in their own town, sharing a campus with another high school touted as academically superior and getting no respect. The message to kids and parents is that 97% African-American and Hispanic high school is that for so-called integration to happen on the campus, you must swallow the bitter pill that tastes like a potted. Architecture White Moral High School has two buildings. One building is called the North Building and was the original structure of the school. In the 1960s, the South Building was added. The South Building eventually was designated for the academies at Inglewood. The high school's North Building was built using Gothic architecture. The North Building features a 100-foot tower. Currently, the campus shares two buildings, the South Building and the North Building. The campus also shares the Office of the Board of Education and the Superintendent. Miller's Pond and the campus coupled with the Jenny's East. Dismuse Middle School on the grounds lends a collegiate atmosphere to the school. Athletics The Dwight Morrow High School Marine Raiders compete in the Big North Conference, which is comprised of public and private high schools in Bergen and Passaic counties and was established following the reorganization of sports leagues in northern New Jersey by the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association and JSIA. The school had previously participated in the BCSL American Athletic Conference of the Bergen County Scholastic League. With 816 students in grades 10-12, the school was classified by the NJSIA for the 2019-20 school year as Group Roman III for most athletic competition purposes, which included schools with an enrollment of 761 to 1058 students in that grade range. The football team competes in the Ivy White Division of the North Jersey Super Football Conference, which includes 112 schools competing in 20 divisions, making it the nation's biggest football-only high school sports league. The football team is one of the 12 programs assigned to the two Ivy Divisions starting in 2020, which are intended to allow weaker programs and eligible for playoff participation to compete primarily against each other. The school was classified by the NJSIA as Group Roman 3 North for football for 2018-2020. The boys' basketball team won the Group Roman 3 state championship in 1947 against Springfield Regional since renamed as Jonathan Dayton High School in the finals, 1951 vs Woodrow Wilson High School, 1960 vs Moston High School and 1961 vs Burlington Township High School, and won the Group Roman 2 title in 1975 vs Pleasantville High School. Led by 24 points from Sherman White, the 1947 team pulled away to defeat Springfield Regional by a score of 49-22 in the championship game at the Elizabeth Army to win the Group Roman 3 state title and run their record for the season to 25-0. The 1951 team finished the season with a record of 23 minutes one after winning the Group Roman feat title with a 59-34 win against Woodrow Wilson in the championship game. The 1975 team, led by future NBA player Bill Willoughby, who was named to the All-Tournament team, defeated defending champion Pleasantville by a score of 70-66 in the championship game to win the Group Roman two title and finished the season with a mark of 27-2. The team won the 2008 North I Group Roman II State sectional title, defeating Basque Kills High School 70-65 in the tournament final. The win marked the team's first sectional title since 2005, ending a two-year run by Basque Kills. The boys' track team won the Spring Track State Championship in Group Roman III in 1965 as co-champion and in Group Roman II in 1992. The boys' track team won the Group Roman three indoor relay championships in 1970 and 1971. Administration Joseph Armental is the school's principal. Notable alumni Bernard Bell, born 1964, 
Grammy Award winning writer. Regina Bill, born 1963, class of 1981, Grammy Award winning singer. Class of 1981, Donnell Carter, born 1987, class of 2006. Wayne L. Cothen, born 1955, class of 1974, city manager of Kansas City, Missouri. David X. Cohen, born 1966, class of 1984, executive producer and head writer of Futurama. Peter Coyote, born 1941, class of 1960, actor, Grammy winner, author of Sleeping Where I Fall, history of the radical anarchist left during the 1960s in California. Ronald and Roth, born 1938, professor of sociology at Westman College. Lou Albert, 1934, 1990, American football coach who was offensive coordinator for the New England Patriots and won two Super Bowls with the Oakland Raiders. David Feldman, comedy writer. Bruce Harper, born 1955, class of 1973, former NFL player, New York Jets. Chris Hewitt, born 1974, former NFL defensive back who played for the New Orleans Saints. Doug Howard, born 1956, musician. Ernie Eiley, born 1952, class of 1970, lead guitarist for the Eiley Brothers. Marvin Eiley, born 1953, class of 1972, bass guitarist for the Eiley Brothers. Janet Jacobs, 1928-2017, shortstop and center fielder who played in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. Roberta South. Jacobson, born 1960, Nice Steinfels, U.S. diplomat who has served as U.S. ambassador to Mexico since June 2016. Jimmy Jones, born 1947, former American football defensive end in the National Football League for the New York Jets and the Washington Redskins. John Labovitz, born 1958, class of 1976, chairman of the Federal Trade Commission. Robert Levthin, born 1951, class of 1969, writer and HIV-AIDS activist Richard Lewis, born 1947, class of 1965, comedian and actor who has appeared as a regular on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Christina McHale, born 1992, professional tennis player. Rick Overton, born 1954, class of 1972, comedian and actor. Sarah Jessica Parker, born 1965, actress. Freddie Pear, 1940, 3-2004, class of 1961, songwriter and record producer. Clark Peters, born 1952, class of 1970, actor Det Lester Freeman from the HBO series The Wire was born Peter Clark. Heath Redden, born 1956, class of 1974, playwright and actor. Owen Renfro, born 1968, director, General Hospital, 2001 present. Tracy Ross, born 1959, as Linda Tracy Ross, class of 1977, actress who appeared on Ryan's Hot 1985, 1987, and Pasha's 1999, 2008. Richie Shamblum, 1940 to 2021, class of 1960, MLB All Star fielder. Wally Scar, 1923, 2007, class of 1940, as astronaut. Sister Soldier, born 1964, activist and writer. Slam Stewart, 1940-1987, a part bass player for Charlie Parker, Art Tottenham, and Slim Gillard. Lou T. Bourne, 1930, class of 1948, offensive lineman who played for three seasons with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Tony Talbot, born 1967, former NFL player, Dallas Cowboys. David Townsend, 1954-2005, class of 1972, musician who played guitar with the Eiley Brothers and formed surface with bassist David Kinlay in 1983. Joey Travel, to born 1950, class of 1969, actor. John Travel, to born 1954, actor. Austin Volk, 1919-2010, class of 1937, former mayor of Inglewood and two-term member of the New Jersey General Assembly. Gregor Weiss, born 1941, artistic gymnast who represented the United States at the 1964 Summer Olympics, placing 7th in the team event Sherman White, 1928-2011, class of 1947, college basketball player who was indicted in New York City College's point-shaving scandal of 1951. Bill Willoughby, born 1957, 
class of 1975, former NBA player who, along with Darrell Dawkins, were the first high school players drafted by the NBA. Sean Wink in 1919-2014, baseball coach Dwight Morrow, scout, podcaster, journalist and collegiate athletics administrator who led the University of Maine Black Bears baseball team to six college World Series births in an 11-year span. John D. Wright, first African-American councilman elected in Bergen County in November 1952. Tom Wright, born 1952, class of 1970, actor weekend at Bernie's Roman II, the brother from another planet. Lai Sarita, born 1964, retired soccer forward who played professionally in the major indoor soccer league. Andrew Swicker, born 1964, class of 1982, physicist, science educator and member of the New Jersey Senate. Popular culture. The high school's north building is featured as a sad scenery for the show Sabrina, a teenage witch. Whitemore High School was used in the filming of the Sydney Lumet film running on empty starring River Phoenix, Shut Hush and Christine Lottie. Whitemore was featured in the film Gracie.